Hey YouTube land, what is up? Oh my gosh, so I'm doing this video and I can't remember exactly what I titled it, but something to the effect that people are lost in these days and they just don't even care. You know what? We are in the last days. I can feel it. How many people have heard that song? It's, um, it's by Phil Collins. And it's like, I can feel it in the air tonight, oh Lord, oh Lord. Okay, that's kind of the country version, but whatever. You guys, I was outside just a little while ago, and I'm like planting another little garden area, and it, the atmosphere. How many people are spiritual like I am? It's not about religion. It's about a relationship with your Lord and your Savior. How many people besides me know that we're living in the last hours of the last days? I know I cannot stress that enough. I can already hear people saying, okay, calm down, calm down. But you know what? It's hard for me to calm down. It's hard for me to calm down when there's people that believe in mythology. It's hard for me to calm down when there is a soul out there. That It took me, there was like this person that commented that said, oh, well, maybe you weren't, like, praying to Odin or something like that. And I was like, who the heck? What? I was like, what is Odin? And then it, like, took me to mythology. And then, it t and then there was, like, this actual video of a battle and, like, all this music and, and how these aliens and monsters, they were, like, hybrids or, hy like, hybrids. And it was like so like Hollywood fiction stuff. You know what? I, I was nice to this person. I was sarcastically nice. And I said, you need Jesus. Quit with your mythology stuff. Stop. You need to know Jesus is your Lord and Savior. We're not promised tomorrow. You have to be on fire for the Lord. You know, I was in the kitchen. I was making something to eat. And it like occurred to me that there are so many people, especially young people. There are people that are graduating from high school. And now they're going to college. And they've got their careers. They're focused on their careers. Oh, I'm going to be a dermatologist. I'm going to work at the best salon in Beverly Hills. And it's like, if you ever ask a young person that just graduates out of high school what they want to do and what, you know, what's their heart's desire, it's to make money. People want to make money. I have been there. I have done that. It is a dead end road. You can have money. You can have bank accounts. You can have a cute car. I did. And I was still empty inside. Because this world is a trick. It is a trick from the enemy. You know what? Do you know what matters? Do you know what's real? Seriously, I can tell you what's real. Bringing the lost to the cross. Forget about your dream job. Forget about your Mercedes Benz and your BMW and your condo by the beach and your credit cards and your makeup and all the crap that doesn't even matter. Do you know what matters? Saving a soul. Waking somebody up. Jesus said, my father's kingdom is not in this world. It's not. That is all that matters to me. When you see the bigger picture, 
When you hear how Jesus said, I have come to reach the lost. You know, people that are righteous, that's good. Let us clap for you. But when Jesus was here, he was searching for the brokenhearted. He was searching for the sinners. He was searching for the people that were heartbroken and sad. Jesus was searching for the people that felt empty inside. Jesus was looking for the people that, that didn't have any comfort. Jesus was looking for people like me. And he found me. And he made me a new creature. It's not about money. It's not about this perfect reputation. It's not. What matters to God is your heart. What's inside your heart? Are you proclaiming Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you know who saved you? Do you know who hung on the cross and bled for you? Who died for you to give you life? It's the most beautiful love story. And a lot of people don't care. They don't want to hear it. They're like, talk to the elbow because the hand is busy. Yeah, I know. The enemy's got our hands busy. We're texting. We're tweeting. We're Xboxing. You know, we're on our cell phones talking about, you know, somebody at the grocery store. And, you know, we're gossiping. The Bible says if you want to boast, and gossip boast in the Lord gossip about the last days we're here we're here just a little while ago I saw a video about like what were they elk elk or deer I don't even know because I can't remember there were like 30,000 of them that just died and they don't even know why or how or what the cause is. You know what it is? It's the Hosea prophecy. I'm sorry I get emotional. Sometimes I get like that. The Lord stirs me up inside. And when the Lord stirs me up, I listen. And, and it's, it, you know, it's not about being fake. It's not about looking cute. It's about getting the word out there. If you have your Bible, open it up to Hosea chapter 4 and go to verse 2. It's, well, actually, you know what? Let me just start at verse 4. Hosea, this is what it says, you guys. It says, hear the word of the Lord, you Israelites, because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land. There is no faithfulness, no love, no acknowledgement of God in the land. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. They break all bounds, and they bloodshed follows bloodshed, and bloodshed follows bloodshed, sorry. Because of this, the land mourns. And all who live in it waste away. The beasts of the field and the birds of the air. And 
and the fish of the sea are dying. But let no man bring a charge. Let no man accuse another. For your people are like those who bring charges against a priest. You stumble day and night, and the prophets stumble with you. So I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I also will ignore your children. The more the priests increase, the more they sinned against me. They exchanged their glory for something disgraceful. That they feed on the sins of my people and relish their wickedness. And it will be like people, like priests. I will punish both of them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. I'm going to stop right there. I am not a speaker. I'm not a priest. I'm not a Catholic. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just a simple Christian that reads the Bible and I am a God-fearing woman. I am a God-fearing woman. And every day I repent. Every day I ask God, please forgive me because I have so many sins. Who doesn't? We're in the last hours of the last days. You have to witness for God, for Jesus. I have family that they don't understand the spiritual walk. And when I tell them Jesus is coming, they're like, they, you Christians have been saying that for years. You know, people are like, we're tired of hearing about it. Well, you know what? If you don't get ready and you don't take personal inventory and be ready He's going to come like a thief. And, you, you know, a thief comes when you're not expecting them. You don't want to get caught off guard. Jesus loves you. And people don't even care. And that's why I wanted to make this video. I'm sorry I got all emotional. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just that I love you guys and... And people don't care. They don't care what time it is. I care. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. That's all I wanted to share with you. That's why the animals are dying. Fukushima. It hasn't stopped. There's like a China syndrome. All kinds of things are dying. But you know what? Don't focus on what's going on around in the world. Keep your eyes on Jesus. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, my, my YouTube land friends and followers and people that I love. Keep your eyes on Jesus because he loves you. Keep reaching the lost and bring them to the cross. That's all that matters. I promise you, that's all that matters. Stay strong. Get firm in the faith. And I gotta go! I love you. Bye.